stupendous Saturday, YouTube. I am back with a spring haul unboxing from one of my favorite companies, White House Black Market. And yes, it is truly a spring haul today. I have become a big fan of their, I guess you could say it's a mint green collection. But either way, it's a lovely shade of green. And in my quest to expand my color from its signature timeless black. Don't worry, folks. I promise you, no matter how many fabulous colors I showcase, and no matter how much I'll jump on the trends, I will never fully ever stray from the black. You get what I'm getting at. If you don't, I don't know what to tell you. Tune in. Subscribe either way. I'm awesome. You're awesome. And speaking of awesome, that is what today's haul is. Especially the backstory to one of these hauls. <sighs> Some of these dresses from White House Black Market have gone poof as soon as they have dropped. Namely, the dresses in my size. Okay, it's a bummer. But you know, there's other stores out there, you know, there's Macy's, there's Dillers, there's Express, there's New York and Company. Um, you know, you, know, you got your consignments as always, your liquidations like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's sad, but your life will go on. Although, if you run out of Baby Shark, you'll be inconsolable as Miss Booper Snoot is upstairs. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's no fury like Miss Booper Snoot finding out that there's no Baby Shark shoes in her size or bathing suits. So, that and nap time. Yes, you can take her country. You can take her pride. But you will not take her right to protest nap time. I probably just greatly misquoted that movie. But she's two. She still gets nap time. She might thank me when I'm older. She might take me on a talk show one day. Stay tuned, folks. We will find out. Back to my story. Going on to the site, because I got a lovely text message that there was a sale. I go to the sales. I decide to just browse through the dresses. Just to admire. Because I can do that. I can admire without having to buy. And I happen to see my size once again. That didn't even turn in a case of gimme, gimme, gimme. That was just back to back. Ship. Click. Yay. And a bit of a Snoopy dance, which I'm not going to even do in front of you folks. No. That's not the point of this video. But that'll be another segment, and I'll throw a little zoom in there for you folks. But I can promise you it was internal. So, that's the purpose of today. I'm very excited to unbox both of these. And we are going to get right to it. As always, my shameless plug from Amazon, as well as my safety lesson. Kids, get your parents' supervision. And whether you are a kid or adult, always cut away from yourself with your safety knife or your Stanley knife. 
cut away from yourself. We're going to start with the back first. You with a bag. You will want to cut away from yourself. Check your bags because sometimes they have already a pre-perforated. If not, that is where you take your safety knife and you see there's a notch, if not, stick along the edge and you cut away from you. Stay towards the top just to make sure that you don't snag any fabrics or if you're not ordering clothing, just any product. Last thing you want to do is cut your fabric or, or your product or your food. You just don't want to do that. You want to enjoy your stuff. You don't have to send it back and then wait for more stuff. Or send it back and they don't have your size. Then you just have to send it back. And you also don't want to cut yourself. Because then you might have to order band-aids and peroxide. Which you could do on Amazon. Shameless plug. Now I'm going to put my safety knife out of the way. And come back to it. The... First reveal from my spring haul is this lovely frock. And I did find out how to pronounce this. It's Blousen. A little bit of an awkward, uh, Fan flower there. Well, I think we know my future in TV show hosting is not to be. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember it was Blossom. Loosen. I promise I did look up how to pronounce it. I'll look it up again. I think I will get it correctly. Please do not quote me 100%. So, either way though, this is the, the smocked wisteria sea breeze. And as you can see, it is an apt color. It does remind you of a nice beachy vacation, if you will. This would be something you'd wear on a vacation. You know, for a nice family night out. Something to wear on the boardwalk. I'm going to open it up real quick. Very carefully, of course. I mean, I'm the type that I like to keep my stuff, but... If in the unfortunate event I would ever have to return, I keep that. Yes, little little tip, kids. Keep your receipts at least until the return date passes. You never know. Those receipts will come in very handy. Well, we're going to pull this out. Now, I ordered this in the extra large. I tend to go for the dresses that have more of what they call the smocked bottoms. Bottoms. Oh, boy. Well, I just blew that description again. Not a smocked bottom, a smocked waist. No, I don't do smocked bottoms. No. Sorry, I'm not six foot tall. AKA, I'm not Khloe Kardashian. No shade there. Good for her. I'm glad she's that tall. She can wear that stuff. I, in my glorious hobbit size, can only do so much, so I stick with smocked waists, which is what this is. However, you say that, blouse and blouse, it's basically designed to, yeah. Flare out a little like a blouse and then come in to smock your waist. 
And then, yes, exactly. Cut the waist. Of course, this is not an accurate hanging right now because it's not on me. But it has like a nice little see-through sleeve here. And I like when they have these, these smocking on the sleeves. Gives you a little bit of control up, down. Especially if you have short arms, doesn't always come right over your uh, right over your hands into your food. And a very, very slight frilled uh, swish to the skirt. I will be trying these on to see if they fit. So I will be able to give more of an input on to just how much of that there is. But I'm very excited for this. I'm hoping it fits, especially because it's not really a petite. But the measurements on the page seem like it could work. I mean, as long as it doesn't come down to my ankles for this type of dress, I think it will be okay. As I said, I'll be trying it on. This is the XL. And this is a really popular color with them by now. I didn't word that right. It's it's trending, folks. It's trending, okay? And this type of green is a very, very trending color, along with the purple. If you don't believe me, the website does say it. The fashion sites say it. And I do like the color. I also like the detailing of this. A very nice print. Kind of. Kind of muted, just enough to catch your eye, but not enough to overpower you. Basically, the kind of the kind of prints that I like. So that is my first haul from the day. Now this, unlike my other uh, Busan Boston dress, this has little buttons up on top here optional buttons in the front so you can either keep it buttoned all the way to the top or undo one or two i would probably keep these buttoned all the way up i'm sure some will let them down the stock photos on the website do show them both ways so again stay tuned to see if it fits i'm going to place this lovingly to the side and get into my next this one is the one that ties into my story. One sec to step out of the frame, please. SpongeBob voice, two seconds later, or whatever time lapse it was, I wasn't watching. But I'm back, either to your great pleasure or dismay. I guess it will depend on your subscriptions, won't it, folks? This is my second part of the haul. This is the halter dress in a similar color and a similar print. This is the one that <laughs> originally sold out of my size real quick, then briefly came back in my size. And I was able to luckily and quickly nab it. This is the one I am in really hoping fits. And also hoping it fits in a way that I don't have to search frantically for a pair of six to seven inch heels for it either. While I don't mind a high heel, and while I do love a platform, it limits me when I can wear them, AKA, I can't wear them if I have Ms. Booper Snoot, because she tends to give the flash a run for his money. Yeah. Let's open this in the meantime. Something like 
here is the second one. Da -da 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 -da. Now these go by numerical sizes. These don't go XS to XL. These go from uh, either zero or double zero. Emily, I don't look that far left. I wish I was that size, but I'm not. And part of keeping my head and me in that love category is not focusing on that side, but rather focusing on the right side and reminding myself that last year I wasn't even in that size. I was close to the, out of those teen sizes, but now I am there. Big steps. And this is the reward. So I got this in size 16. Now granted, this is also not normally my size, but when it comes to dresses, dresses can fit you a lot differently than a pair of pants or a shirt can fit. So kids, please don't ever look at a dress size or even a bathing suit size and if it is a size or even two sizes bigger and feel nervous about yourself. There's nothing wrong with you. It is just the way it is, it is the way it's cut, it is the way it's made. And it can just be that particular maker. I am a 2XL in Kate Spade. But I am also a size L in a, a you know what that quick I just had a brain melt. <laughs> Um, Jordash. There's Jordash squirts. I'm a size L in those. So, don't be like me. Please keep that in mind. And it will be the same if you ever go shopping for prom or anything like that. Everything's different. We're going to take off that for a second. And we're going to unpack this. Finish unbagging this anyway. Da -da -da -da. Here we go. And as I said, this is the halter. So this obviously is one you would want to wear either a strapless bra or one of those um, adhesive adhesive cups that they sell. I suppose if you're brave enough, forego it all together. Here it is. This is the, to give you the, fish, the official description of it. The Ruffle Halter Midi. Again, in floral, sea breeze. A gorgeous, gorgeous green. Pastel, mint, what, whatever you want to call it, but beautiful green. Not an overpowering, you know, just sort of muted, pastel-y. Very, very simple but strategically placed ruffles, just a little bit of a slit, and a nice solid, uh, shell, I guess that's the best word to call it, is a shell, so thankfully, you have a little bit of extra coverage. And it has a tie in the back, so in addition to the zipper, you can sort, you can adjust it to either be loose or really tight, whatever your preference is. 
Now again, without trying it on, all I can do is just hold it up to myself. You know, middies, obviously, is middies. Supposed to be middle. So, about this hanging on me. Yeah, it's... Hard to say how it's gonna fit. Because, hello, Hobbit size. Plus, it's not on me yet. But, I will be back to see if it fits or not. So, stay tuned, lovely folks, on this stupendous Saturday, because I will be back in less than 10 to 20 minutes, trying these on to see if they fit. Because I will be wearing one of these tonight, as tonight is movie night. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Yes. And who knows, you may even see Miss Booper Snoop make an appearance. So, thank yous for tuning in for now on the unboxing. Again, if any of these have interested you, whitehouseblackmarket.com. And this is the Seabreeze Collection. Gorgeous color, gorgeous print. And they also have a lot of other really, really pretty dresses, pants, shirts. You name it. A little on the high side, but I feel it is what you pay for. My humble opinion. So, in the meantime, I'm going to click off, sign out, try these on, and get back to you with my next video. Again, heading on out, leaning on out. Start for the 20 minute mark, but for two dresses, that is not bad. Stay tuned. Does it fit? Like and subscribe for more content.